Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Please subscribe if you haven't already done it, done so, and a, a share and thumbs up, and a big thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is uh, the last video um, of Shanklin, and this is um, the beach area, and. Um, and again the last um, in the walk with me series of Shanklin so there's another way getting up to the Sh Shanklin shrine and uh, there's also a pub that's not open at the moment up there um, and another way of getting into the museum and heritage and seeing the, the shine. Also, we've got um, some cafes. A beautiful island and also some apartments. And it also has beach information, the tide's in at the moment. Um, and there's another cafe line, some ca a cafe takeaway. There's lots of bins around and dog bins, which is uh, good. And set emergency equipment. And um, it looks like a pebble. Yeah, it's a pebble beach. Trailers of destruction, recovery, for your 50 pounds. Plenty of places to sit, place in the shade or these are lots of apartments. Um, also, um, if I could come again to uh, Shanklin, um, I would like to um, do the Old Town Theatre and the gardens and the Shanklin Shrine again. Um, there's a beach higher. You can hire deck chairs single, double, kayak, paddleboard, bodyboard, uh, when it's obviously the weather. Then there's, again, if it does start to rain or you want to get shelter from the sun, then there's a shelter place which is also um, good or really cool. Then there's Bazaar and Snackery, a telescope, a talking telescope as well. Wow. Yes. Pebbled, stony beats. And it does also have some sand as well, it looks like. like the Antwerp restaurant or then there's parking, the clock tower beach and it has a gorgeous clock tower up there, the, the Starmina Inn, uh, local ale, ales and sweet rooms. Um, so wow that is it's also the best seafood in Shanklin, local life entertainment, so it's like a pub, cafe, restaurant and in hotel room, the waterfront and in, um, happy hour breakfast cocktails, 
lots of bins and colourful beach huts. That's the gorgeous clock tower and there's a post box. Clock tower was paid by subscription from the local manor and the inhabitants of, of Shanklin to commemorate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria 1895. Um, you can also get a lift uh, from the top downwards if you, um, if you want to and that's um, also again good at access for um, disabled people or you can walk down then there's a cafe and there's a taxi and there's some parking clock tower beach hut shipwreck minor society chair on the beach like that lady over there there's a spa car at car park pay and display there's the lift oh and a lovely seat in here here and um, it also looks like it has some information more information oh gosh and a, a stone as well well a big well rock just say not a stone oh it's a rotisserie club of shanklin talking about the heritage oh well and basically showing you a map where you are as well which is also handy this plaque marks the sides at which Pluto oil and White Lion left these shores for France at the time of the Allied forces landing at Normandy in June Normandy sorry June 1944 a lovely garden of trees planted oh and another rock as well this is extremely beautiful and exciting. I, I, I would really recommend so much coming to Shanklin. This was, the plant was the opposite, was installed on the pier approach shortly after the Second World War. After, after the 1987 storm, the pier was dismantled and the plaque apparently lost. Some years later, it came into possession of Bembridge Heritage Society and kindly returned to Shanklin Town Centre, which arranged uh, to be the plaque at Stone opposite. The plaque was unveiled um, in its uh, present location by Countess Van Batten of Burma on the 19th of September 2005, which is really nice and some lovely planting a lovely a beach cafe here you can get some incredible views here of sat down over there And a bit a bin wow and some absolutely gorgeous pavement designs that's this is Shanklin time capsule uh, opened in 1950 tells you the history of Shanklin Pier Um, I think it would be really great um, if they um, were to make another pier for people to go on but there's still lots of uh, things to see and do and sit down and 
relax. Here's a lovely Shanklin notice board and its map. So this is the escapade. It tells you the water quality and beach information. But yes, lovely designs. There's a chairlift. And yes, I would love to come back here to Shanklin and also do the chairlift next time. I'll just go and see what the prices are. That's Sunny Beach Holiday Apartments. You can read that number. And some toilets there, private parking as well. Chairlift, one pound return. instead of two pounds or OOPs and one pound fifty for juniors, temporary measures until the steps are reopened. So the normal price is two pounds for an adult or OOP return, Ju uh, junior return four to fifteen, one fifty, adult and OOP single way 150 junior single uh, four to five one pound free travel for children under four and disabled uh, persons so opens from at 10 a.m last lift at 555 so i would love to do that the, the next time i come But yes, it would be great if they were to get uh, the old pier back up for even more entertainment in Shanklin. But there is um, a lot to do. And you can't um, spend um, going around the, the Shanklin time at least, say, half a day. That's Shanklin and Sandown uh, Rowing Club. Shanklin. Tells you what's on at Shanklin Theatre. That's the Sunny Beach Apartments. Holiday Apartments. Escalade Bar and Restaurant, again it might get up and running in the summer. This is the Beach Cafe. And Boho Beach Shop. A bit, uh, because we're all, um, out to sea, so not all of the places um, are open but if you came i reckon in a, co a couple of weeks time then more places would be open this is the shanklin beach hotel caesar's restaurant Fish, uh, but yes lots of shelter from the uh, either too much sun and rain 
family friendly restaurant and that's uh, the short in adult boutique, uh, boutique uh, bed and breakfast hotel residence only but it does look like a lovely b and Now these are, this is the summer arcade. This beach shops, candy shack. So it's a bit like a beach front shopping centre. That's what it, what it is. And you can get something to eat, like ice cream, fudge, waffles, sundaes. And, oh, there's also family amusements. And fish and chips, so yes. It's a shop and entertainment centre. Yes, it looks like it has lots of games. So if you do like playing games, then uh, that's the place to go. This is Fish and Chip Restaurant. Esplanade Gardens, Long State Car Park. Telephone box, 20 mile an hour zone there. Here's a plane display if you're travelling by car. Car. Also a large car park. Wow. Now this is an attraction that probably not now, is for younger children, families with younger children, uh, like under eight, so I would, I would say, uh, mainly. There's, it's called the Black Pearl Play Centre, Dead Man's Cove, that looks like a shooting. And some rides, ground rides, water rides for the children. And it looks like some slides. It also, uh, you can get tokens at the place and super prize at grabbers. There's also a little co uh, coaster. And it's called Pirate's Cove Fun Park. And you can get the tokens here. There's a bloom ride and a coaster. Again, it looks like it's free entry to the fun park and it tells you how many tokens each ride casts also little rides uh, for in instance and games here two tokens for the coaster there's a pressure chest, a balloon ride, um, a game, and a bin. So it's 
so uh, again if you wanted to have something to eat then there's some picnic branches all attractions are non-refundable shooting I know my dad li likes shooting so I think he would like that another shooting game so yes you could definitely spend I would say half a day um, here as well and you could probably get also some re-rides Those are the disco boats to take pins. Those are the bikes. And then we've got to pay for a Cove Adventure Golf up there. But yes, if you've got young children or you're an adult that likes shooting and games, then it's a great place to check out or you're an adult or you're an adult or adults with young children because again, you pay for what you go on. And the best thing about it, the park's free to go in. No one was standing there collect, uh, collecting any entrance fee. So, with the fact, um, so it's a really great place to come and visit. This is a really well themed, gorgeous adventure golf, a crazy golf for. Everybody that likes playing crazy golf, adults and children. It does have some ro uh, roles. Um, Pirates Cove is 18. Um, whole adventure golf. And also, right next to it, there's another adventure golf, Jurassic. Polite notice, customers only. Thank you. So, wow, an absolute double treat if you like playing adventure go uh, golf because you have Pirates Cove and Adventure Cove. You can get Super Saver to play both courses, adults £13, child £11, family of four £44, family of five £55, last game 5pm, valid for one week from purchase. And then uh, these are the individual prices, adults 7 50 children 6 50 family of four for Pirates Cove, £26, family of five, £32.50. That's an 18 old uh, crazy golf course, adventure of golf course, and then Jurassic. Um, again, it's uh, just the same price as the, pi uh, the Pirates. But the Super Saver, if you have the time and it, the last game is 5pm you can get it to do both course, the golf courses for those prices there and you play at the desk there
So yes, they're both 80 whole courses. Uh, you can also get a uh, coffee and snacks. And uh, they've got all the dinosaurs uh, again really well themed. and doing the maintenance which is all, uh, always lovely to see and uh, there's also some toilets in the golf section as well uh, another car park and uh, we've got this is Hope Road Long Stay Car Park, no overnight camping here. Cycle Hire, Red Squirrel Trail. Now we're going to the last part of uh, Shanklin, which is Shanklin Sailing Club up there, and Shanklin and also here there's a place to sit down here again and Shanklin and Sandow Revenement. Now, we've got some beautiful coloured hots and a sand and um, pebble beach. lovely coloured beach hut so that people can hire out lovely colours and they've got numbers on them Anybody could come and play on the sandy beach. Well, and there's some like pebbles or or rocks. That's another beach hot. I suppose. virtually put what you wanted or have what you wanted I've seen some with like small kitchens in and like seats so a good idea if um, all you want to do is hot it uh, just relax on the beach now this is this beach here is called Small Hope Beach and one of the a Small Hope Beach on one of the beach huts that's another one with Small Hope Beach some are named like Dolly Hot and Ralphie Hot and 
small home beach again. But yes, um, lots of lots of stone and sand. Lovely painted beach huts. Again, a lot of hard work have gone into these and they look absolutely amazing. And to make the area more picturesque. They are also next to a license, the Salax Cafe, Beach Hut Tires. That's if you wanted to hire some beds, deck chairs, beach huts. Cafe. So this is all from Small Hope Beach. on the outskirts of Shanklin so thank you for watching and I'll see you uh, for another video um, doing the, uh, the western side of um, Shanklin Bay oh sorry the western side of Sandown Bay thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye